Right. This is going to be the first of several videos. And actually, there's probably going to take a couple days to get all these videos shot, um, but I figured I'd get started. So um, one of the, the, there's several huge things coming to OS 7, and this is part of it. Um, and this is just one single use example. There's so many unlimited possibilities. But the, one of the biggest things I've been working on with Frederick is the ability to tie um, styles and fonts together in a way that's never been possible before. Um, and it's going to open the door to so many things. So uh, for those of you not familiar with Profi, this may seem like a brand new thing, but in Profi, basically your font, that's the sounds that you have. Um, a preset is a combination of a style, which is the visual effects, and a font, which is the sound effects. Um, and up until now, those two things have been pretty separate. You, could, you use the font with a style to make a preset, but that font is fixed. Um, and if you want to change the font, typically you would change the preset to use a different font, or you would go in and you could actually edit the font, but that's done through a menu, through an editing menu, or done through um, Profi OS Workbench, but essentially you can't do it while the saver's on. Um, so now, one of the things now is the ability to use um, multiple fonts within a preset where the font actually changes in real time. So we're not turning the saver off, we're not reigniting, we're not reloading the font. It's actually gonna change the font based on what you choose. Um, and this actually ties into a whole bunch of other new sound features which are going to create a synergy between styles and sounds um, like never before. So now the style code itself actually has the ability to control sounds. Now this first example, this is the Kyber Select style that we've designed for uh, OS 6. And what it is is there's actually six base colors um, and you can rotate, them, uh, rotate through them before igniting. So this particular Kyber Select style is set up so before you ignite, you can actually choose, and you can watch the crystal color, or if you can see in the window here. So I've got six different colors set up. So it's got a orange, a green, uh, actually it's probably easier to see here. Uh, I got a deep sky blue, I got a blue, I got, uh, oops, I'm going back around because it's based on the turn, orange, indigo, and then gold, or yellow. Um, and Typically, in OS 6, you can change the color with Kyber Select just right before you ignite it, but the font is the same. It's always going to be the same sound file unless you change it outside of it. Now, with the ability for us to actually use what's called an alternate font, um, and you can set up multiple alternate fonts within a preset, the alternate font will now change based on the color I choose. Um, and so I'm going to, I have to, in order for Kyber Select to work, it's actually every time you ignite, it's set and it stays active until you change presets. So I'm going to ignite it in green, and we'll listen. This particular one has different uh, hums, different in and out, different swings, everything, um, set for each color. So they're all going to be unique so that it's a brand new experience with whatever crystal color I choose in Kyber Select. So we'll, we'll ignite, and you'll hear this sound and try to remember it for the ignition sound as well as the hum, as well as swings and in. So that's the green color, and then you'll hear the green retraction and the green ignition. And that's one specific font. Now, I'm going to change presets. So I'll go forward one and back one. And then we'll go back. All right, so now I'm back to that same Kyber Select style. So this is the same exact preset we ignited the first time. And this time we'll choose a different color. So we'll choose blue this time. So different font, different swings, and then different in and out. And then we'll change preset again. And again, I'm going forward one preset and then I point down and I go back. So this is the same exact Kyber Select preset again, but because we're going to choose a different color, um, we'll get different sounds. So let's get to a different color. It's deep sky blue. Let's try the orange. So I went past orange. So we'll do orange this time. So again, a different sound, different font, same preset. And then swings. And then in and out. So, and there's, there's, I could go through all of them. Each one of the colors actually has its own alternate font set up in the 
uh, this preset. So this preset is made up of a Kyber Select style with six colors and six alternate fonts. Um, and the alternate fonts will be a brand new way to set up fonts. So there's going to be a bunch of documentation on it um, and everything. This is different than anything you've seen before, but it enables this ability and tons more abilities, which is why I'm going to do multiple videos. Um, but now we're going to have the ability, and, and the way this works is the, the style code that controls Kyber Select can also now control which of the alternate fonts is playing. And that's the key, is that when you set the color via the style, it actually chooses that alternate font. And that's, that was the, that's a huge change that we haven't had the ability to do before in OS 7. Um, in, in all the previous OSs, your font was actually set at the preset level. And it was set um, in your config, and it was part of that style, as part of that preset, until you edit it through some means. But now, we're going to set up a font in your config similarly, the same way you had before, but the font itself is actually built differently. The font itself is actually built with alternate, cut, uh, alternate sounds. And you can have as many or as few alternate sounds as you want. And without showing it, it may be a little bit um, confusing, but for, these, for this font, there's actually there's the six alternates, but the alternate sounds are actually only the, the hum, the in, the out, and the swing sounds. Um, oh, and also like lock up and drag. But like the force effects and, and the font sound and the blast sounds, they're actually shared. Um, so the way you can set them up is you can actually pick and choose which of the sounds you want to have alternates for and which of the sounds you just want to be baseline. And what that does is it actually lets you shrink down the size of the necessary font. So instead of six complete fonts that you're going to have in here, you can actually pick and choose parts of the font that you want. And obviously, hum is a big one, swing in and out. Um, but you can pick and choose. You can have all the sounds have alternate versions, or a few sounds have alternate versions. And then the other part of it is it's controlled by the style. So like I said, this is one setup where the Kyber Select, the functions that control Kyber Select, which is what allows you to change the color before ignition, also now control which of the alternate fonts get used for each one of those and it keeps them in synergy. So now, for the first time ever, we have the ability for the style code to actually change the sounds. Um, and that's going to come into play in thousands of new uses and that's why I have a bunch of videos that are going to be coming. Um, but this is also done all in the style level, so that means that every single preset can be completely different. So you can have one preset that's a Kyber Select with a bunch of alternate fonts. You can have another preset that's just old school, straight color, straight font. You can have another style that's set up so that that style actually has alternate, uh, alternate fonts set up for based on how you use the Saber. Um, because we can now, by having the style code control the sounds, um, we can do anything with our interactive controls to actually change sounds and modify sounds. Um, and that's what the other videos are going to be on. Plus, there's a bunch of other new sound capabilities. Um, so there'll be separate videos. So this is the first. There, I'm going to try to shoot as many as I can close together. Um, but these will be rolling out over the next few days as I get the... Uh, basically, I have to get everything prepped. I have to get the style code built. I have to get the fonts set up. And then I'll do the video. Um, but the plan is to shoot all of... A bunch of new demos for different ways this comes into play. Um, and just again, all this is still just one example of pretty much endless possibilities now. Um, but the biggest takeaway is style code in OS 7 is now going to be able to completely uh, to work in complete synergy with your font and manipulate the font through alternates and through some other new sound capabilities so that you can actually have the style code handling and controlling not only what sounds are used, but when they're used. And that's going to be a totally another video. So OS 7 is going to be like unlike anything you've ever seen for users, for font makers, for style design, um, just for the interactive and the realism, the fact that now we're going to have sounds based on what's happening with the styles, all controlled in real time. Um, it's going to be, I mean, to me, this is, this is like, super game changing for the Saber community and I'm, I'm so psyched that we've got it all working and all ready to go. Uh, so tons more coming. Uh, keep an eye out for all the other demo videos for a few, uh, actually a bunch of other uses for this. Uh, but I'm pretty psyched. So Kyber Select with the ability to choose alt fonts is just one of the new capabilities. There's so many more coming. So hope you enjoy.